Hi, I'm Jerome Barjakowski. I am the Autonomous Systems Product Line Manager for D3 Engineering, and today I'm going to talk about a couple of our CMOS radar demos. On this vehicle here, we have two radar demos set up. Uh, there is a satellite radar demo and a forward radar demo. Both demos use D3 Engineering's radar module, which contains the CMOS radar chipset from Texas Instruments in the millimeter wave radar solution. Talking first about the satellite radar system here, D3's radar module is contained in this satellite unit, and there is a visible camera here, which is one of D3 Engineering's rugged camera modules. The system is a satellite system because the information from these two sensors is sent via FPD link back to an ECU inside the vehicle for processing. This system is set up as the basis for our radar fusion where you could actually blend the data from the radar and the visible camera together and it would be very useful for low speed scenarios like parking or driving in the city where you're detecting objects, cars, pedestrians around the car, uh, first with the radar and then adding classification information from the camera. The power for this radar system is set up at about 40 meters to see around the car and, and again parking type of scenarios. Moving over to D3 Engineering's Direct Connect radar module, this system uses the same radar module as it, that's in the satellite system, which is contained in the top corner here, uh, but the processing is actually in this unit uh, and it's on a, a test bed system for, for evaluation. This unit is set up with a little bit higher power, uh, its range is about 80 meters, and it would be used for situations like uh, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, car overtaking. In both cases, the radar units in production will be mounted behind the bumper, and really the, one of the advantages of, of radar behind the bumper is you can get rid of these things like the ultrasonic dots and still get the same position information. You'll also see that there's an additional camera on the front of the car here. This is used for one of our surround view demos, which we'll talk about in a later product video. Here we're showing the CMOS radar solution, a millimeter wave radar solution from D3 Engineering and Texas Instruments running on an RVP TDA3X. Uh, this is our satellite configuration set up for about 40 meters power and we're showing about 20 meters power on the screen here. Uh, as we approach this intersection here you'll, you'll start to see some of the other vehicles and uh, cars in the scene. Um, so right now you can actually see objects that are static in the scene appear as, as white dots. So this vehicle over in the corner here is appearing as a group of white dots here. And you can see traffic going across in front of the intersection up there. If I switch to our direct connect unit, which is actually set for a little bit higher power, you can see actually further out in the scene. Um, so additional static objects across the street up there and you'll see the traffic going through the scene here. So you can see the cars turning in front of us here and the traffic going by in, in both lanes. So the uh, lane approaching from the driver's side and the lane approaching from the passenger side. So, um, anything colored in the scene is moving. Um, yellow dots are, are things that are moving towards the vehicle. Uh, red dots are things that are moving away from the vehicle. Here we're showing the basis of our radar fusion demo, which is a millimeter wave radar solution uh, plus visible light. Uh, as you can see, a pedestrian is walking in front of the vehicle right here, and all the white objects are stationary radar around the vehicle. Now, why would you uh, want to have something fused radar and a camera? Uh, the reason for that is in certain use cases, the radar sees better, and in certain use cases, the camera sees better. So you can supplement the radar data with the visible data or the visible data with the radar data. A good example would be if you're driving, say, down a road and there's an object on the side of the road and the radar identifies it. Um, now that object could be an animal, it could be a person, it could be a fire hydrant. Um, you may want to be, have the car do different things based on what that object is and now you can supplement that with some visible data and actually classify the object. Vice versa, if you're in a scenario where, say, uh, you have some fog or some snow and the, uh, the visible camera isn't seeing very well, um, you can definitely tell that there's an object there and avoid it with the uh, radar data. And that's kind of the basis and the premises for a, uh, a fusion, radar fusion system.